Hi everyone! Welcome back for more Let's Play Sam and Max Save the World! That looks comfortable. Oh, it is! How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? I don't want to think about that. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. Yeah. It's getting late. Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. Kind of is, actually. Impressive credentials. Kind of Thank you. Where's Diploma Mill College? It's in Battle Creek. Okay. Max almost lost a finger in a fan like that once. Yeah, but it wasn't my own finger. <laughs> skin art. Is that art for skin or art made from skin? Your ideas are effervescent pustules, Max. Sparkly and disgusting. Hmm. I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and painful. A surefire hit with the average consumer. Iron-on tattoos. That's an interesting thought. Ah, the tiki. Pulled over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. It's just that a little. may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barbershop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. <laughs> Can I play with that? No, he drives people crazy. Who? Me! Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. Nice cactus. Saguaro? Vinyl. Hey, if you dip that in ink, you could do 30 tattoos at once. If I could scare up 30 customers at once, I'd still be in the tattoo business. Yeah, there's a point there. Well, enough looking around the office. Let's go see if we can deal with specs. Actually, we can also deal with mail, too. Tampering with the mail is a federal offense, punishable by fine and imprisonment. As we found out after the incident with the garden hose. Ah, memories. I want to hear about that, actually. Dead end. One way, dead end. Street signs are such fitting metaphors for the human condition. You said the same Remain thing about the one way sign. Well, let's do this the fast way. I once hid in that dumpster to escape a rampaging gorilla. I still don't know how she got out of the office. I was sure I locked the door. I remember Specs is overly concerned with having perfect. And I do mean perfect graffiti. And it's also pretty obvious that he was the one behind this graffiti over here. So let's mess up his work and lure him to a place we can do something to him. Because, as you can tell, you can't just easily do something like this. Nah. He won't just let you do it. I'd rather punch other things. So we need to lure Specs a little closer to an area that will work for us. Like this right here. Since he was obviously the artist for this, let's this mess could it use up. A little improvement. Hey, hey, hey! You messed it up! Oh, now I've gotta fix it, brain freeze! And now, do you remember how we could look out the office window earlier? We still can. So let's take advantage of that. And a very convenient target sitting right there below the window. Can you believe we get paid for this? I love this country. You made me mess up. <laughs> now this is quality television. Except, hold on, my evil plan is in jeopardy. 
Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. Well, we've admired our handiwork long enough. Maybe just one more second. Okay, let's go. He's hamming it up pretty good there. So now we need to go break specs out of his little trance. Before he wakes up. And just a side note, he won't wake up until we actually wake him up. So you're not on the timer here. <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby! Wha what's going on? Why is my outfit all wrinkled? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's 227 something. Wizard would remember the street. He always does the drive. Can you take us there? Are you kidding? I've got hours, hours of ironing to do. Well, that was helpful. Hmm. Oh, number two taken care of. So let's go take care of Wizard. seen what B-Tads does. It sits there and clonks someone on the head and knocks them unconscious. Exactly what we want. Yet, we're not likely to get good old wizard there to pick up a weapon. So let's see if we can't this trick him into uh, knocking himself out. And he's sitting there with his little crate there. But what would happen if the, we put the cheese in the crate? Once he comes back. Hey, that's my box. Indeed, oh, my it mistake. Is. I often mistake other people's video boxes for my shopping cart. He does. But obviously, he won't just let us take over his uh, box there. Ooh, fun! So we will have to trick him. Uh oh. Time out for number one. And now that he's no longer next to his box, we have a few seconds here. If you really love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. Neither can I. What the? Time out for number one. We're saved! That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. I agree with Max. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> classic. Just classic. Wait a second. My evil plan is in ruins. The dog and bunny will rue the day they crossed me. Rue the day, I say. <laughs> hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... Nah, we could. But we might as Take well. Take control of your mind. Out. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Nicely done, Sam. You're a natural. Because he oh, knows where we need to go. Where am I? Who are you? Don't worry, we're freelance police. Police? Oh no! Oh goody. He's getting away in that truck! Quick, follow that soda popper. So, driving sequence number two coming right up. Once it loads. Thank you. Hurry, Sam! He's getting away! Time out for number one! Now, you can't actually fail this, but you can make it take a very long time. You notice he's going to throw out just a ton of freaking boxes. 
Well, what we need to do is catch up to him. Good lord, this is loud. Hopefully you can hear me. Well, we need to catch up to Wizard there. So what we need to do is avoid the boxes. Not like that. A little closer. Take the wheel, buddy. And blood attire. Got it. Yes. Don't shoot! Aside from the fact that we just plugged your truck, why would you think we'd shoot you? Except for the obvious sport value, of course. It's just. You always see cops on the news beating up some guy just because he's a former child star. We would never dream of hurting former child stars. We just need to find the home where Brady Culture keeps them. Oh, why didn't you say so? It's right over there, across the street. Jumping elephant fleas. How devilishly convenient. Thanks. Yeah, it works for me. Um, does anyone know where I can find a bathroom? Bladder to the size of a thimble. Well, let's take a look around at the area. Looks like a shifty character to me. Don't Harry they all? Molman. More Molman, huh? This one's very locked. Not much of a secret, is it? I think someone was sitting here. And hmm. leaking. Yep. Sounds like we found the right area. Disturbing little monkey. Reminds me of a job I had once. You were a monkey? Essentially. Hmm. I guess this is where you stick your admission form. Hmm. The black hole. What's a black hole, Sam? It's a star that's been crushed under its own weight, destined to desolate darkness for all eternity. Sounds appropriate. Locked. Now treating artificial personality disorder. Hmm. <laughs> the power of Ibo. Looks more like the glower of Ibo. Indeed it does. Well, let's check out this admission form now that we've looked everywhere else. Hmm. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Sounds tasty. What's in it? Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see... Obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Forsooth. You don't even know what that means, do you? No, but it sounds all classically literate. And see, what you get on these admission forms is somewhat random. It'll pop out hmm. three things. It says here they only treat patients with something called artificial personality disorder. Apparently it's common in former child stars. Symptoms include, uh, let's see... Obsession with money, violent reactions to dentistry, and an unconscious desire to marry one's mother. Yep. I think the first time I played this, he was a, you had to be obsessed with fame, you had to have a violent reaction to hairstyling, and you had to have an obsession with seeing your peers grow older. So, anybody want to take bets on how we managed to become diagnosed with APD? Well, you probably figured it out. Where are we going, Sam? We have to go back to Sybil. Back to the office. And all that, all that uh, psychoanalysis we did last time we were here, we got to do it all over again. Only this time, we need to hit the three main keynotes that they uh, that they've already that they just mentioned. It is getting a little bit close to time to cut the video, so we will do the psychoanalysis when I return. Join me then, won't you? Take care, folks. See you then.